Alright, so we did the Amazing Spider-Man 2 trailer and I'm gonna show you how we made it. All right, so we did the Spider-Man scene before a while ago uh, from one of the Tobey Maguire movies, but we didn't make the Spider-Man suit for that one. So this time we got to make the Spider-Man suit. So this costume is made out of a red turtleneck. It's the one we used for Iron Man a couple weeks ago. Cut that thing up with a blue t-shirt and just pieced together the basic shapes for that. And then we drew on top of it with some marker and then Ben made the front and back spider logo. And those are paper. Then the gloves are just some red gloves we had, and we just put some black tape all around to make the webbing pattern on there. And then the mask was tricky because we couldn't find a red ski mask in time for this, so we just made our own. So it was a red t-shirt that I cut up and glued it together and just made a really tight-fitting red mask out of it. And that's pretty much the whole Spider-Man outfit. Dude, it looks awesome though. <laughs> I gotta go climb some stuff. <laughs> you can't see this whole bit, okay? I can kind of see that one. <laughs> In the opening shot where Spider-Man is skydiving to the city, we laid out one of those city mats, and then Ben is actually balancing himself on a stepladder and sort of just pretending like he's falling down towards the city. There's a few shots of Electro in this, and we came up with this cool technique where we would just shine a blue light onto someone's face and hands to get the blue electricity kind of effect. So our friend Shalon just wears a black hoodie, and then we've got some blue gloves on. Freshly painted. <laughs> it's actually are still a little bit wet. Yeah. yeah okay. And then Ben's shining a blue flashlight right at his face. <laughs> You're gonna get a workout. And then when he actually shoots out some electricity from his hands, we just tied some ropes to his hands so that he could just toss the rope out as hard as he can and we kind of shine a flashlight on it so it lights up. Then for the big wide shot where the electricity sort of covers Times Square, we did a miniature setup for that. And then we came up with this technique to make a blanket of yarn so that would kind of be the electricity. And this is a really tricky one to get right. We need it to stay up in the air, kind of come from the building in the distance, come straight under the camera lens. It's bigger than you, Peter. <laughs> so Gwen Stacy is only in a few shots in this, so we had our buddy Cat Alter, who was just in our Jurassic Park scene. <laughs> Nothing is what I thought it was. It's all about the backting. Backting. It's That's all about right. the what? The backting. So do you have headshots for the back of your head? Uh, yeah, because the back of my head is ridiculous. <laughs> then the big shot where Spider-Man jumps up and catches Gwen and they crash through that building. We did that with miniatures. Today, the role of Gwen Stacy is gonna be played by Doc Brown. Great Scott! Ben made this out of some flat cardboard. We kind of went 2D instead of making the actual dome because you just see it from above. And then the inside glass portion is a sheet of transparency that was already pre-cut so it would break away when they go through it. I'm dropping Gwen, he's raising Spider-Man. They hit and they have to spin together all the way down. All right. <laughs> one shot. There is one quick shot of the rhinoceros robot thing, and so Ben built this whole thing just for that one shot. We attached kind of the front rhino nose thing on a welding helmet, so Ben could just put it on his head and then sort of shake his head down and the thing closes. Robo rhino. And then the next shot where you see the foot sort of land in the street, that's a full-size boot, but on our miniature set, so it's kind of a forced perspective thing. In order to get the shot of this missile um, right next to the camera, I've actually just taped it to my phone. There's a shot where Spider-Man kind of grabs a manhole cover and flips over a car. So we made some little cardboard taxis and cop cars and stuff with some little flames on them. So we just had the action figure 
roll over the car, get to the right position, and then we hold still and we replace Spider-Man with a little construction paper explosion so we can just jump cut right to it. Dustin in his fort playing with toys. In that shot where Spider-Man is in slow motion and he like swings by that transformer that explodes. I'm actually laying on the ground shooting upwards and Ben has two halves of a water bottle that's kind of painted and decorated and it has a bunch of confetti and stuff inside. So that I'm controlling Spider-Man and he swings by and then Ben can burst this thing in half and all the confetti just drops down towards the camera. So it looks like a really cool explosion coming towards the lens. And confetti on my face. <laughs> This is how you make lots of beautiful fluffy clouds. You lay some t-shirts down. There's a quick shot of the outside of an airplane coming right towards the camera, so we had to build that out of some cardboard and some foam. So that's an example of Ben making a really sweet prop that's only in one shot for about one second. <laughs> and then the inside of the airplane is a tube that Ben made and it actually has real windows and stuff so we can shine light through it. it has little seats and all kinds of little details. And then at the right moment, we just blast a bunch of confetti through the window so it looks like they're all shattering. Some of those titles that have text on them and this cool kind of electric background, I just made this kind of square rig out of pieces of yellow and white yarn and we put the text right on there. All right, well, that's how we made it. Spider-Man away! <laughs> so when is the parade gonna come by? I don't see, any, I don't see anything. This is a really boring parade. It totally looks like Spider-Man pajamas. <laughs> oh, ah, ah, I can't see! Ah, I'm blind! Yes, I'm playing Peter Parker and Harry Osborn in this one. Good job! Alright. That's acting. Woo! <laughs> yeah! There we go! <laughs> I'm Spider-Man! <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any other questions and I'll answer back in the comments. And subscribe to Cinefix for brand new episodes every other Tuesday. And next time we're doing the trailer for the new Godzilla movie. You won't want to miss it. <laughs>